What's up guys, r, &R Horror Hunter back at you yet again with another video, and um, well, it's been a long October, um, and I have not been able to record any videos as of yet, um, you know, it's it feels bad to be uh, during this wonderful Halloween season and not being able to do that, but you know, I'm going to try and make up for that in the next few days, these last few days of the Halloween season, and uh, I'm going to try and make up for that with um, reviewing some Halloween movies, um, also doing a few different videos. I may not be able to do the entire Halloween series, uh, probably won't even attempt that, but I will do a top 10 um, coming up pretty soon. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just jump right in with uh, the original Halloween. Um of course, directed by John Carpenter in 1978. Also, my favorite movie of all time, whether horror or non-horror. Um, man, I, I just love this flick. It's amazing. Um, you know, I can't say enough good things about this film. Um, you know, made in 1978 uh, on a budget of around $327,000. 27000 of it uh, went to... Um, Donald Pleasance for his role and uh, you know I think it's well worth it because Donald Pleasance does a great job uh, I'm not going to run down the plot for you because I'm pretty sure that you already know the plot of this film so I mean if you haven't seen this uh, and you're a horror fan and you're watching this channel you probably have been on a different planet but the original Halloween is an absolute classic. Uh, I guess I can just run down a different, a few different uh, aspects that I love about the movie. Uh, let's run. Let's start that rundown with uh, the writing. John Carpenter and Deborah Hill wrote this film. Uh, I think in the summer of 1977. I think I'm not really sure, but I think it's 77 they wrote it, and um, it's a, uh, it's an amazing script. Um, Deborah Hill wrote for the female characters in the film, while um, uh, John Carpenter wrote for uh, the other actors that were going to be in the film. The uh, male characters, the adult male characters, the, all the adults, really. Um, and that really shows through, because Deborah Hill knows her stuff when it comes to teenage girls. These teenage girls seem absolutely real. Um, I have not seen a teen movie that has come out that surpasses this in reality of uh, the teenage life, except maybe Scream, um, which I may get off, get along to later. But, you know, this is an awesome flick uh, and extremely well written. Uh, John Carpenter does amazing with the Dr. Loomis character, which I think is probably the best written horror character in history. Uh, next to just simply the shape, Michael Myers. Um, so, I mean, it's it's an amazing dynamic script. Uh, you can make of it whatever you want, but there is absolutely no political subtext. That's what John Carpenter meant to do. He does not uh, um, like to put too many politics in his films, and uh, I enjoy that. I, uh, I am very happy that he doesn't put too many in there. I'm not saying I don't like politics, but I'm just saying uh, in movies it, it's, a, it's a distraction. But, yeah, uh, very well written. Direction, I mean, John, Car John Carpenter is perhaps my favorite director of all time. Uh, whether horror or non-horror, uh, he has done some amazing films. And he can do really any genre. I haven't yet seen a romantic comedy from John Carpenter, but... I I'm <laughs> I guarantee you that it could uh, it probably work out quite well because I mean he can do comedy he can do action he can do literally anything uh, as far as I'm concerned but his speciality is of course horror and uh, that really shows through in this film I really really love his direction in this film uh, very simplistic very minimalist but at the same time uh, employs a certain style that says, you know, you know the old saying, uh, 
a picture says a thousand words. That describes this film perfectly. Um, through the images, uh, we see so much emotion uh, just through the camera movements. Um, you know, and some of that, of course, can be uh, attributed to the constraints of the budget, uh, which was, as I said, uh, $327,000, which was uh, amazingly low. <laughs> uh, and I'll get on to probably some budget stuff later, but, you know, the way that he does his camera movements is just so simple. Uh, so gorilla, so to speak, that it just it seems like we are a person there, uh, a voyeur, uh, just watching all these action, uh, everything that's unfolding before us. It's like we are there watching. It's it's very very cool. Uh, the acting is amazing. I love Jamie Lee Curtis and her role. I think that it is possibly the uh, greatest scream current scream queen role ever written, ever acted. Um, she beats out Fay Ray, let's just say that. <laughs> but I do really, really like uh, her performance. A lot of people say that uh, anybody could do the Laurie Strode character. I, I can't agree with that uh, because Jamie Lee Curtis had that girl next door thing going for her. It was just loved it. Um, also, the other girls, uh, PJ Souls and Nancy uh, Kyes at the time, I believe, or Nancy Loomis at the time. Uh, yeah, very, very great. I, uh, I loved their performances. Um, you, you can't get better supporting actors than that, I don't think. Um, also, uh, Nick Castle as Michael Myers. Perfection, absolutely the creepiest character in a horror movie ever. And, of course, we can't go on without saying Dr. Loomis, uh, played by Donald Pleasance, the greatest Ahab in horror history. Let him rest in peace. Yeah. I, love, I love Donald Pleasance. In every movie that I've ever seen him in, he's done a great job. Um, doesn't matter what kind of movie it is. If the movie's crap, Donald will make it better. So, yeah. So, uh, we covered acting, directing, writing. Those are the three big ones. Um, cinematography is great. Uh, Dean Cundy does an awesome job, both lighting and filming this, uh, this movie. It's wonderful. Uh, I also want to talk about this overall feel of the movie. It's both a film and a movie at the same time. Um, director uh, Tom McLaughlin uh, has many times talked about how uh, uh, a movie is it well, a uh, we'll say movie like this uh, how a movie is either a movie or a film and there's a difference. Um, this is both to me because. You can watch it just to have fun, or you can watch it just to analyze it and uh, just figure out everything that Carpenter is trying to do there. And it works as both. It works nice as a little popcorn flick uh, to watch with really anybody. It's very family appropriate, except for one or two scenes. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's perfect, I think, uh, as a film uh, or a movie. <laughs> But, yeah, there's my review of Halloween. I love it. Um, it made its budget back in spades. It's, <laughs> which, uh, I don't know, it made somewhere... It's, it's made a lot of money. I, I researched it one time, and uh, it, was, it was a crap ton. But I loved it. Uh, I, I love the fact that it brought back that money, and... Uh, we can definitely see John Carpenter is a very rich man nowadays. So, there's my review, guys. Got to give it a 5 out of 5. Perfect score. Uh, my favorite movie of all time. Doesn't matter. So, uh, there you go, guys. Rock on. If you like, subscribe. I'll see you later. Look forward to the new videos. Bye.